Hi there, how are you? I'm Dr. Sharif al Halim, and today I will give some tips on how to study in the fourth year of uh, medical school, especially in Bangladesh curriculum. So my focus will be from DMC, K70 batch, and the corresponding batches from other government and private medical colleges. So it will be helpful for you guys, I will think. Okay, so you have five subjects. Uh, and among those five subjects, I think the most important are the preclinical subjects that you will need later to have a good grasp of medicine, gynecology, and surgery. So, so the most important subjects that I, I think is pathology, and followed by pathology is pharmacology, then microbiology, then comes forensic, uh, community medicine and forensic medicine. Forensic medicine is the least important subject, I think, and the pathology is the most important subject. So study pathology as much as you can. I think this is the best, most important subject in all your medical life because everything, everything actually uh, depends on pathology. So you, you see a medicine case or a gynec case or surgery case. If you know the pathology well, you can you can easily identify, diagnose the patient, and also. If you combine the pathology with pharmacology, you can treat the patient very well. So those are the two most important subjects. So regarding the topics of pathology, you see the most important topics are from general pathology. So uh, the inflammation, cell injury, neoplasia, uh, those are the most important chapters of general pathology. And hematology is also equally important, but not that much uh, of a bulk like that of general pathology. And systemic pathologies are also important. And considering systemic pathology, the systems that you should focus more on are at the cardiovascular system uh, and respiratory system, renal system, GI. Those are the most important chapters. And also, you can study nervous system, musculoskeletal, but they are less important. And clinical uh, clinical pathology is also an important topic, but it's a, it's a small topic, and studying it from from a guide is enough. So I think that's that's not a big deal. And about uh, pharmacology, pharmacology is a cumbersome subject for many of the students. Many of the students forget the names of the drug and the uh, mechanism of action, side effects or other effects. So for, for that purpose, you can make some notes on your own. And don't try to memorize uh, names of every drugs in a group. Try to memorize just a few and uh, also don't try to memorize all the classifications that are listed on your on your books so all the classifications are not actually needed in the most of the cases you will forget later so don't try to memorize the leads and try to actually compare different drugs and actually um, integrate the concepts of a drug so if you understand the mechanism of a drug you can actually actually combine it with the indications that can be used and also if you know the side effects of the drug you can actually uh, compare it with the contraindications so some of the side effects will be also in the list of contraindications so be aware of that and also always always compare them okay and the drugs are easily forgettable so that's why you have to uh, review the pharmacology drugs for multiple times don't try to study deeply rather study repeatedly so this is more important uh, in pharmacology and also this is this case this is also the case in microbiology so deep study should only be kept for uh, pathology so this subject requires more time and uh, have to have, you need a deep understanding of what's going on in pathology but microbiology or pharmacology you don't need that much of a deep understanding rather you have to study them for multiple times repeat as much as you can share with your friends talk with your friends and make notes okay uh, about community medicine and forensic medicine, we have to follow the other departments say. I, I don't have much to say about those. Okay, so those will be my advice for you guys. And I think those advice may help you. And uh, also, if you have any more further, um, further questions, please don't feel shy to ask me. And don't forget to like and hit the uh, and subscribe to my channel and also share the information with your friends tag your friends uh, in my um, Facebook page and also uh, don't uh, don't forget to uh, be grateful of the gifts that you have given by Allah thank you